Welcome to Learn Biology and we're still on the topic of organic chemistry but today we're discussing a new molecule known as ribonucleic acid. So let's begin. Ribonucleic acid is a type of nucleic acid. So it's a type of nucleic acid. And what a nucleic acid is, is it is a large molecule known as a polymer, so polymer, which is made out of tiny molecules known as nucleotides. And tiny molecules are known as monomers. So, the three main components of ribonucleic acid are ribose, phosphate, and nitrogenous bases. So let's begin first by looking at the name ribonucleic acid. We see a connection between ribose and ribo. What ribose is, is a type of sugar. And it is a five carbon sugar. So a brief diagram would look something like this. One, two, three, four, five. It is a five carbon sugar. So there'll be a carbon here, 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 and here. So five carbon sugar. It has a P of four meaning phosphate. And what a phosphate is, is a type of polyatomic ion and we don't need to get into too much detail there but it is made out of phosphorus and four oxygen bonded together. Nitrogenous bases are tiny molecules within RNA so tiny molecules so tiny molecules within RNA that hook up together and are made out of the element nitrogen so nitrogen and the four nitrogenous bases in ribonucleic acid are adenine and uracil guanine and cytosine and I am pairing these together because these bond together and why do they bond together well because when they bond together the valence electrons in the outer shells equal out and if you need review on that please check out my other videos so the structure of ribonucleic acid ribonucleic acid is single stranded so one and strand so one strand so here is the strand right here and what it's made out of is sugar and phosphate. So uh, the one strand is made out of ribose and PO4. So ribose and phosphate. Connected to the ribose and phosphate is a nitrogenous base. So here we see uracil, adenine, and when in further stages these two hook up together and uracil reacts with adenine and cytosine reacts with guanine however we also must understand the function of RNA so the function of RNA so if we look further in depth RNA is responsible for making protein so RNA makes proteins and proteins code for genes which express us so RNA is responsible of, of is responsible for gene expression through protein synthesis so gene expression expression through protein synthesis so protein synthesis so thank you for watching learn biology and we'll see you next time